to take the time for this interview after this loss against Genji. So I guess you are not so happy about it, but what is the feeling after this game? Um, well, of course we are sad that we lost, but I feel like it could be a very good learning opportunity for us to actually get better. Because yeah, during this tournament, it's a long tournament, and I feel like right now we're not at the level of the best team, but I think we can be with a couple more days of practice. So yeah, I think since the start of the Worlds Bootcamp, or like the start of Worlds Groups, we didn't actually have much days of practice, because we kind of just played every day. So we kind of stayed at the same level, but I think now that we actually have some days off, or like break of not playing, we can get better. And especially from losses, you usually learn the most. So we're not too destroyed about it, because I feel like the games were still kind of fine. So, yeah. You just spoke about uh, learning experience, so it just happened, but uh, can you see already like some area of improvement for this game? Um, I, mean, I feel like these games kind of came down to team fights mostly. Like, yeah, team fights and I guess getting caught. So I think the most important one is making sure that we don't get caught, how we can do the same to the other teams. Um, yeah, like in the objective setups. Yeah, something like that. And I know that you scream against the best team in the tournament before the competition. So what do you think about this game? Why is it because Genji play better than they used to be in Scream? Or because you were not at your top level? Mm, I think they were playing a bit better in Scrims. But I feel like mostly it was us playing more scared, I would say, than in Scrims. Usually in Scrims we would just like, you know, fight whenever we felt stronger. But this time we were just really waiting for like the best power spikes and then sometimes we get caught because of it or like yeah we just didn't take the best fights even though it could be good for us um, so yeah, I think it's mostly on us I think they played kind of similar to scrims but yeah I guess it just drafted a bit differently yeah. and me kicks today you play listen in the first game my guess is it is because it was a good counter to Rakan so is it the case yeah I mean I played the sound already in uh, LEC like twice and usually it looks good because it's really hard for Rakan to actually get in the fight and engage. But in this game, they found a lot of good flanks that they, actually, they could actually just get on us and kill us. And yeah, the level one kind of, you know, faltered our plans a little bit. So we couldn't get as much of a lead as we can. So yeah, I mean, I guess it was also a little bit, a little bit awkward that Silas had my ult, like the Lissandra ult. It's kind of strong on Silas. So that was a bit awkward. But I think other than that, I think the pick was decent. They had a lot of melees, so it was hard for them to actually get in, get on us. If I just press W and then E away, and then Ezreal can just like poke them all down. So, yeah. Some viewers were surprised because you left twice uh, the combo Xayah Rakan open. So do you think it is fine to play against this combo, or it might be a little bit a mistake? Yeah, I mean, I think it's fine. I think these champs are strong, but I think there is counterplay to it. Like in the second game as well, we got like a kill as well in lane because I guess they didn't expect us to be able to kill them. Um, and then after that, I felt like they were not that strong. And I think against the champs, you can always play stuff that kind of outranges them. So yeah, I don't think the, the, the champions have like no counterplay, but they're def definitely strong, right? So I think you just kind of preference what you want to do. As you mentioned, Worlds is a very long competition. I know you will have some day to rest and maybe to scream again. So do you already know what is going to be the planning for the following days? I mean, probably we're going to watch some other games, but I think most of the time we're just going to try to scrim, try to improve from today. And yeah, just look through the games, see what we can do better and get better. And I watch uh, the G2 video behind the scenes saying that uh, people were always open to each other and they aired out when there is a, a problem. So are you going to make a small review after the game? Yeah, for sure, yeah. I think usually we're very calm in talking about our losses or just like mistakes that we do. So I think shouldn't be an issue. We just like talk it out, see what we can do better and prepare for the next match. Yeah. So it means that fans should not worry and that we will keep it up and continue on your way? Yeah, I think so. I think uh, even today we showed some decent stuff. And uh, yeah, I mean, I think today we were not on the same level as Jinji, but I think in the few week to days to come, I think we can be better. So I think, yeah, just have to wait and see. And for the next round, can you name like one team that you want to face and maybe another one that you want to dodge? I don't think I would like to dodge anyone. I kind of want to play all the teams. I would like to play T1 at some point because, well, I never played T1 with Carrier in it. And yeah, we always somehow miss each other at like uh, these tournaments. Like MSI, we, do, like, we didn't get to play each other. 
I guess I didn't go to many international tournaments since then, or like before that. But yeah, now we also didn't we get to, maybe we get to play the next one. I think if they go 2-1, yeah. And then besides that, I'd like to play Cloud9 as well. That would be fun. And Mikix, what about facing another European team? Is it still funny to face this kind of team in the international competition? I think it's more fun to play other teams. I think EU versus EU would not be very interesting. I think they will just get stomped. So I would like to play other teams instead. And Mikix, what about your own experience? Uh, how do you like Korea so far? Is it a good experience? Yeah, I mean, I've actually never played an international tournament here in Korea. So that's it's kind of new and it's pretty nice. Um, overall, I like it here. Like you, I've been only here twice or three times for boot camps, but it's always been pretty nice. And this time we actually were boot camping in a team facility, so that was like a big bonus. Like everything was really nice over there. So yeah, so far so good. What about your time in solo queue? Do you have a good time here in the Korean solo queue? Well, I've recently been on a bit of a lost streak. I think I lost like six in a row now. But uh, before that, it was pretty nice. I got challenger. Now I'm out of challenger again. But uh, overall, I like the experience because it's just much better than EU. At least like player-wise. I mean, of course, there's some players that are like very bad at the game, but most of the time people are good or just like on average, they're much better than EU. So that's why I enjoy playing it. And today was a loss against Genji. But uh, how do you evaluate the strength of uh, both uh, Delight and Pace as a bot lane? Mm, I think they're decent. Uh, yeah, I think they, they just play good, you know. I don't think they were anything insane, but I don't think any bot lane is, to be honest, in this tournament. And no, no one like stands out, I feel like. But they're just good, yeah. They're probably like top four for sure. And one positive thing for me was that you were able to play uh, Nautilus and Lucian in the second game, so it meant that you were very confident. So, are you at 100% synergy with Ansama right now? Yeah, I think most of the time we're like kind of on the same page. And yeah, usually we do pretty well at this early game. Um, so, yeah, I think we're decent right now, yeah. And speaking of Ansama, like. Uh, now he has a kind of new style, kind of a K-pop style, K-pop idol style. So if you want to have a better synergy, are you going to change your style as well? Not really. Well, I'm looking to grow a beard, but it's going to be like maybe 10 years more. Thank you so much, Miki, for the interview. And just to finish on the positive note, do you have like message of hope for all the European fans? Yeah, I mean, I think even after, even though we lost today, I think people shouldn't be too discouraged, I guess. I feel like we can still get way better. Um, and yeah, keep cheering us on. I think we're gonna go all the way, so stay tuned. Thank you so much, Thank you.